A high school student just created a self-driving car that costs 5% of what Google's does. So if he mysteriously disappears, we know why. I'm Anthony, this is DNews, and the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair was last week. 1,600 high school students from more than 70 countries brought their work to be judged, and the winner was a 19-year-old Romanian student who created self-driving car technology that only cost $4,000. Now, Trace and I were just dreaming about self-driving cars the other day in our video about flying cars, and the first thing that usually pops into people's head is Google's car. Now, that car uses a high-resolution 3D radar that costs about $75,000. Now, obviously, Google doesn't care much about costs. They've got a ton of money for research. But technology like that takes a long time to trickle down in price and get to the public. So this guy decided that the best way to get us that autopilot that we all want is to remove that expensive radar. So his system actually replaces a lot of the radar's functionality with off-the-shelf webcams. So these low-priced cameras find high-contrast objects, lane markers, curbs, stuff like that. And then he uses a 3D radar that's simpler and less expensive than Google's to track big stuff, trees, houses, other cars. So how does it stack up to Google's car? Well, he ran 50 simulations and it completed 47 of them perfectly. The other three had a very small problem. It uh, failed to see people crossing the road about 65 feet away. Reminder, these were only simulations. There were no real people. Now, he says that with a slightly higher res 3D radar, it should run perfectly without bringing the cost up much. He won a $75,000 scholarship and a Romanian company is going to fund a prototype car for him to testing. And just to let you know who else came with the genius, the runners up were an 18 year old who built a super capacitor and a 17 year old who simulated thousands of galaxy clusters in a way that will help astrophysicists study dark matter. I love this. There is so much innovation and intelligence out there and when people are looking at an old problem with new eyes with no restrictions they come up with the most amazing stuff speaking of which if you watch us regularly you probably noticed we've got a bunch of videos going up this week extra ones they're all from maker fair which is this amazing event for hackers and tinkerers who want to change the world or just kind of bend it to their will in weird ways we've got a whole playlist of those and we're updating it throughout the week so if you want to see me crush cars with a giant robot arm or find out how to become a submarine pilot for free. Click the link below, check it out, and don't forget to subscribe for more D-News.